Awards for the 30th time, but nighttime in tribute to Stephen Allard. The stars and cars will go four wide for you great race fans that are with us here tonight at Silver Dollar Speedway and watching. We had 62 cars enter tonight. We're down to the final 24, of course, as they come by. Make some noise. Let them know how much you appreciate them. The stars and cars on parade tonight here at Silver Dollar Speedway off of turn number four in tribute to Stephen Allard. Fashion. Field is aligned. The lights are out. The stars are shiny bright. Tonight, Silver Dollar Speedway, after 40 laps, someone's going to be a hero in tribute to Stephen Allard. We're green. Justin Sanders, Landon Brooks, comes back to his inside off turn number two here. Here comes Sanders with the crossover move. They'll go side by side into turn three. Oh, what an opening lap battle. for the lead. Give the lead out of turn number four to Landon Brooks followed by Sanders, Macedo, Bloomfield and Golubic the top five. And we saw Dylan Bloomfield working that bottom side to perfection in the dash. He made a couple of moves. There were a couple of passes on the opening lap. However, he now has Shane Golubic trying to come after him down the front straightaway. We get to lap number two. That Two laps down. Trouble for your leader. Brooks is sideways. That gives the lead now to Justin Sanders. Macedo rolls into the second spot. Bloomfield now mixing it up again with Brooks. Three laps down. We got a car over the edge. In three and four. A couple of cars. Looks like they'll continue on. We stay clean and green. Caleb Montgomery and Crawley, the two cars that were off the edge of the racetrack. Lap number four that time by. Four laps down. Sanders up front. He's wheeling and dealing, race fans. He's about a lap away, though, from closing in on slower cars. Now Shane Golovic drives back around Dylan Bloomfield for a position. Here comes your Placerville Speedway track champion, Michael Pacino, trying to close up on him as well. Five laps down quickly. Five down. This time by six laps complete. It's still Sanders up front, your leader. Followed by Macedo, who's all over him. You've got Brooks, Golovic, and now Facento to the inside of last night's winner, Bloomfield. No battle for that fifth spot into turn three. Paul Macedo all over Justin Sanders. He'll take a shot now low into one and two. Here comes the Tarleton and Sun 21 team. Justin Sanders had to pump the brakes quickly to avoid the 7C car. That'll allow Macedo to get a run off turn four. But Macedo kind of biked off the turn four exit. They stay nose to tail through turns one and two. Look, Brandon Brooks trying to make his move again. Yeah, I was just going to say, Landon Brooks has got his composure back, running in third, trying to track down his car. Macedo bikes it. He's upside down. Oh, that's a tough one. Into the catch fence in turn four. We got to go red. And also backing into that area was the 5H of Hamas. We will advise to try to stay away from that area on the fence. Please stay away. Let the safety crew do their job. Cole Macedo was going for it. He was in that second spot. Red flag situation here on a lap number eight. And uh, we have just got word. Driver is just fine. Cole Macedo. Gives a thumbs up after a wicked ride off a of turn number four. That top side, the part scoreboard. Field bunches up. Anticipation of the restart off a of turn four. We're back at it. Justin Sanders will lead him into turn one. Shane Golubic taking a look to the inside of Landon Brooks for second. Brooks drives back around him. He'll maintain P2, and we have Chance Grasty over the edge to draw the yellow. Over the edge, and the yellow is out. No lap, we'll stay on uh, lap number eight and we'll go single file now, coming out of the double file restart. Okay, field is set, lights are out again. Second attempt to get off a of lap number eight, this time by, we're green. Once again, Golovic goes down low. Michael Macinto has a run on him, and we got Sean Becker upside down big time. Red out. Holy Toledo. That was big time. 
Sean Becker took a nasty two tumbles at least in the air. It, that turn one got him rocking and rolling. We'll make sure safety crew gets there and checks on Sean Becker, but you can even still see and hear the people in the grandstands talking about how high and how many rollovers he did in the air, at least two that we saw. They're going to gingerly get the car back on all four. And how about that? He's crawling out of the top of the race car. The Shark, our seven-time track champion. Taking off the helmet, catching his breath. Shirts, man. They are great. Yeah, he's got great. There's a guy with some big-time moxie, Robert Blue. Miss him in a wing sprint car, though. Yeah. All right, here we go. Lights are out. Lap eight restart. Field ready to roll again. And we're green. Off of turn four. Sanders leads him into turn one. They'll go to the high scary side once again. Vicento, though, on the bottom might get around Golubic. They'll slice and dice for that third spot into turn three. Into turn three, the battle is on. Here comes Torgus, and now the challenge to the inside of Dylan Bloomfield. He'll make that pass down the front straightaway. Torgus it up the P5. Yeah, he's on the move in the snowmobile. The seven car around the 83V, nice move by him. Back up front, Sanders still holding off. Landon Brooks, it's Vicento Golubic, Torgerson. You've got Bloomfield and now Vasquez in the 83SA getting racing. Andy Forsberg working that bottom side to perfection, looking to get to the inside of 38. Colby Johnson battling there for the A spot. Andy Forsberg kind of catfishing around the bottom, going where they are not. Torgerson will get around Golubic, though, off of turn two. He's moved up now to P4. Yeah, good stuff for the Glendale, Arizona racers. We go yellow for a car off one and two. Car into the K rail into turn one and two, facing the wrong way. I think it's Nick Parker. 115 and Nick Parker. Sanders sets a pace again. Field bunches up off of turn four. We're green. Brooks now to the bottom. Battle for the lead off of turn two. Squeeze play. And Sanders will take the lead. Now we got a top and a bottom right now in this sur in this surface behind them. Shane Golovic, Ashton Torgerson, and Michael Vicento just ahead of them trying to track down Landon Brooks. Field uh, rolling through turns one and two right now. Top six or seven, nose to tail as we see that Golovic look to the inside of Vicento, but seventh on back. It's a gaggle of race cars, top and bottom. 13 laps down, six tenths of a second is the lead for Justin Sanders. Back to your runner-up, Landon Brooks. Vicento, Golub again, Torgus in your top five. Behind him, Bloomfield, Forsberg, Ryan Bernal making some moves right now. Looks to the inside of Colby Johnson. Vasquez, Caden Steele. Round out your top ten. And Bernal started 16th in this one. He is up into the ninth spot, it looks like. Trying to go after eighth place, Colby Johnson. Ah, great battle into turn number one. There were three cars going for it. Bernal, Johnson, Vasquez. There's Caden Steele also in the mix. So yeah, 16th up to eighth right now for Ryan Bernal with 16 laps down and 24 to go. Landon Brooks is slowly but surely tracking down your leader. About a lap and a half until maybe your leaders catch the slower traffic on lap 17. 17 laps down. Boy, Brooks is just shadowing your leader, Sanders. Well, we talk about some of these young kids heading back east. Landon Brooks certainly going to be one of the next as he tries to do something with Justin Sanders here with 18 laps down. About a three car lane gap between the top two. It might be closer as they go through turns three and four. We come off a turn four, lap 19 completed. Well, that time Justin Sanders goes down low. Landon Brooks has a run on your leader into turn three. Here it comes, Troy. Battle for the lead through three and four. Brooks on the bottom, unable. 
able to squeeze by. Your leader is still Sanders, but look at Golubic right behind him. He put the squeeze on Facento. They'll race back and forth for that third spot. Man, tremendous battle there with Golubic. Here comes Torgerson now. Trying to get through some slower traffic, he does so. Brooks will try to follow. Golovic runs in the third spot. Torgerson and Vicente, your top five. Ryan Bernal trying to make six as he gets to the inside. And Ryan Bernal on the move still from that 16th starting position. He is up in a P6. Brooks made another bid for the lead off of turn four. He'll gather himself back. They go through once again three and four on lap number 23 this time by. Well, Shane Golovic, four wins so far this year, looking to join the party as Torgerson's all over him too. Top four starting to bunch up. Back into turn three and four. We'll complete lap number 24 this time by. It's a four car race for the win of the Fall Nationals. 24 laps down, 16 to go. A little bobble there for Brooks. Here comes Shane Golovic with a bid for second. The Matt Wood Racing 17W goes down low. Let's see if Brooks can cross him back over. Oh, that's tight as we get off of turn number four. Brooks back to the inside. Golovic, your defending winner. And he'll get to the inside of Brooks. What a move by Shane Golovic. And here comes Ashton. and throw a blanket over second, third, and fourth. This is good stuff down the front straightaway to turn one. Brooks takes the spot back, but Golubic says no super you. I want the second spot. Those three having a battle, but up front, Sanders extend his lead. It is about a half straightaway lead now by Sanders. Man, how impressive is Ashton Torgerson in the Clayton Snow mode number seven up into third. Those three drivers all rail the high line. Great move by Torgerson to get to the third spot. Brooks falls to fourth. Vicento, Bernal, and Forsberg round out your top seven. 28 laps down, 1.3 seconds was the lead last time by for Sanders. However, Shane Golovic is coming. Boy, Shane Golovic is closing. He's been the best driver at Chico the last two years. He'd love nothing more to finalize here this year with another win. He'll close to within a car length down the back stretch. And battle for the lead up coming into three and four. Golovic goes upstairs. Sanders drifts up. Golovic now cuts his way to the inside. Limit of contact maybe between those two. Yellow, yellow. And it was for your third place car at the time, oh, Torgerson. Didn't see that. Teeth. Gary, that's pretty great. That's pretty good. So with 10 laps to go, single file restarts. We're back at it, this time by race fans. Shane Golubic looking for his third Fall Nationals win. We're green. Through one and two, Landon Brooks has a run on Justin Sanders. And we have Andy Forsberg over the edge to draw the yellow. Well, like his uh, buddy Sean Becker, that turn one entrance took a bite out of the 92 car. And Forsberg at work. All right, lights are out. We're back at it again. Shane Golubic, Sanders, Brooks, Vicento, Bernal. We're green. Well, Kevin Henry to the inside. Sorry about that, GT. Yeah. Yeah, 
Caleb Henry got to the inside of Ryan Burnell. Burnell tries to battle his way back out, but right now the top side becoming dominant once again. 31 laps down, 9 to go. Golubic now motoring away. My goodness, once he got to the top spot, he packed his bags and said, see you later. 8 to go. Now what a season, four wins out of the five 360 racers going into this weekend and Shane Golovic absolutely marching away from the field. Sanders second, Brooks is third, Vicento and now Caleb Henry inside the top five. Seven laps to go. Well at the line already a 1.6 second lead for Golovic. Back to second place, Sanders, Landon, Brooks, Vicento, Henry and Burnell. Six to go. Most of the drivers back on the high scary side. Well, Sanders, if he can close in, will benefit from some slower cars coming up. Vasquez off the edge of the racetrack in front of your leader. That'll help Golovic a little bit. Two second lead as he enters into lap traffic. Now slides across the groove and turn four lap car across me right there in front of him. That was close. Four laps remain. Golovic the leader, but Sanders will close in. Golovic struggled to get around the one a little bit. This time by, though, 37 laps down, three to go. Shane Golovic, Justin Sanders, now one second apart, so Sanders has closed the gap. However, gets across the groove there in turn number two. Clear track ahead now for Sanders in his pursuit of Golovic. 38 laps down, two to go. Golovic up front. He's going to have to make a mistake to allow Sanders to close in. White flag this time by. Sanders did close the gap just a little bit. The final charge by Sanders within two car lengths. Golovic gets stuck behind John Clark. He goes to the bottom. Makes contact with... Clark off the turn for the checker to win. Shane Golovic, a three-time champion of the Fall Nationals. Second will go to Justin Sanders, Landon Brooks, Caleb Henry, and Michael Facento. Things changed quickly on that final lap as Golovic got sidetracked by the slower car made the move to get around that car and he won the third time for the Fall Nationals. He brought back the perpetual trophy and he'll get to take it back home with him. Your unofficial uh, results, it'll be Shane Golubic followed by Justin Sanders, Landon Brooks is third, Caleb Henry up to fourth, Michael Vicento, 5th, Ryan Bernal, 6th, Tony Gomes, 7th, Colby Johnson, 8th, Caden Steele, ninth, and Willie Croft up to the top 10 finish. Croft started 23rd. Good job by Croft, 23rd to 10th. Well, Shane Golovic started off the year with the win. He'll finalize the year with the win. That is his 16th career win here at Silver Dollar Speedway. His third Fall Nationals win. The 2022 track champion gets it done here at Silver Dollar Speedway tonight. We'll allow him to gather his thoughts and get him out of the race car. Gary Thomas on scene. Race fans are welcome to the pit area after the races are over. If you want to go meet some drivers, get some autographs. <laughs> well, he's out of the car. GT will send it down to you, Gary Thomas. Well, Troy, he's going to go atop the car. Now a three-time Fall Nationals winner, 
in tribute to Stephen Aller. What a race here tonight for 40 laps. We'll get Shane around front and center. Get good line of sight for the flow guys. Oh, Shane Golubic. Good kiss here for wife Sarah. Talk to us about your season. Your five wins, none bigger though here. Your third career Fall Nationals. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. That's awesome. Uh, winning the Fall Nationals is uh, something that's like really means a lot to me. And to be able to do it three times is super cool. Um, really cool to uh, do it, you know, in honor of Stephen Allard. Uh, him and his brother Jonathan were huge in my uh, progress uh, up through the race, uh, racing ranks. And um, they weren't afraid to come up to me and tell me what I was doing wrong or what... Uh, what they were bothered by, and I, I thought that was really cool, and I, I was able to learn from both of them um, a ton. And so um, I try to emulate that a little bit nowadays. I'm starting to be kind of the older guy, and those guys meant uh, the world to me. So um, try to keep that tradition going. But um, yeah, my not serious drink, uh, Matt Wood Racing, uh, Southern Pacific Farms MV Drywall car was uh, a handful early. Uh, I was kind of MF and my brother a little bit, uh, thinking we weren't going to be very good, and. Uh, the thing just came alive there uh, halfway through the race, and the harder I ran it, the better it felt. So, um, really happy to be able to park it in Victory Lane. Um, means a lot. And, uh, yeah, I just can't thank these guys enough. Well, last night you were kind of joking about the track wasn't up your alley, but tonight this thing looked like it was right up your alley. Talk to us about that excellent battle with Justin and uh, Ashton Torgus. I mean, that was, that was pretty darn good stuff. Yeah, for sure. It, it's still almost like the first half of the race really wasn't up my alley either. It was really... Uh, kind of choppy and, and my car was just too tight and I was bouncing around a lot and um, just kind of thought I was in trouble but then uh, the track came to us a little bit and uh, I just decided to kind of get up in the seat a little bit uh, a little bit more and get going and got a good rhythm going and was able to catch Justin just at the right time and kind of got lucky the, the way that um, yellow kind of fell because I know it was going to be really difficult to actually complete a pass on Justin um, with with the way the track was it, it took me so long to get by Landon um, I knew it was going to be even harder to get by Justin just because he's such a good racer and um, he's always going to have something to come back uh, with, so um, caught a break there, but we'll take it. Well, got to be some nice momentum here in a couple of weeks. You're going to try and match old BK for the most trophy cups, so I know you got your eyes on that uh, $29,000 as well. Yeah, that's huge. Thanks, buddy. Um, yeah, I think I tied uh, Shark and Andy, my two heroes, on, on Fall Nationals wins. I think they both have three from what I've heard, so that's pretty cool. Uh, those guys are uh, people I look up to, but yeah, looking really looking forward to Trophy Cup. That's our next race, so I'm um, excited about that. And, uh, yeah, take a week off and, and get back and get ready for Trophy Cup. All right, race fans, now a three-time winner of the Fall Nationals. It is Shane Golubek and the Matt Wood Racing Team. We'll let them get the victory lane photos. Well, we'll get on over here to our runner-up finisher, Justin Sanders. And, Justin, you won a lot of money races here. I know you wanted to add a Fall Nationals, but uh, talk to us about that great battle with you and Shane. Yeah, there's a uh, three-second place for Fall Nationals now. Uh, no, I mean, I just, uh, I was out front leading. I didn't know how, to how hard to push, and I really didn't want to blow it off the edge. I was getting real tight in the middle of the race. And just, uh, I kind of seen the track cleaning off, seen some rubber coming, and I was trying to not give that part of the racetrack up, but also keep my speed. And I just, I don't know, I just kind of got caught moving around and, just uh just really didn't make the right decisions uh you know i don't know um not really much to say uh gotta go back and look at a couple things and check out some rules and check out some start rules and just look at a couple things uh you know uh that's all i can say in second place uh, you know uh he, he, he got me at the line and i just tried to get it back and just push as hard as i could that's all i had well, you got to be looking forward to the high limit race as well, Putnamville. That, that's a Justin Sanders track. Uh, yeah, I uh, ran second there last year, too, so uh, my second place race this year. Uh, to, we'd like to get a couple more wins. I mean, I got to uh, uh, something uh, not going to play, I got a big win. Yeah. And uh, yeah. got to be a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, congrats to Shane, uh, pushing harder than I did when I needed to be pushing harder. So uh, that's all I can say about that. And, uh, all right, that's Justin Sanders, tonight's runner-up finisher at Fall Nationals. We'll get Landon Brooks out here front and center. Well, Landon leading the race early on, then he kind of had a little bit of a, a little excursion there on the back straightaway. But, uh, you know, I know you want to get that win, that $5,000, but it's been a great season, and you're on the podium here at the Fall Nationals. That's got to feel pretty good. Yeah, you know, I just uh, almost went upside down there, I think. And, um, you know, if I didn't do that, I could have controlled the race a little bit better and, um, you know, maybe came out on top. But... Um, you know, it was fun racing with his them guys. I felt like, you know, Steven gave me uh, the car just as good as him. And, um, you know, we kind of got sliding there, and I kind of got, 
know, stuck in the wrong spot and fell back to four. And then the rear end was first, and then we started to know the front end up. And it was crazy how, you know, like, and then go away. Last night, we fell back to 22nd. Yeah. And we drove back to seventh. So, those teams, they get in a great race car every night. And, you know, they make it easy for uh, you know, these guys. Oh, jeez, yeah. The one that makes it all happen for us. And, uh, Standing season, I'm sure we'll see at the Trophy Cup here what, in two weeks. Yep, yep, we'll be there. All right, that's Landon Brooks, everyone, tonight's third place finisher. That'll wrap it up down track side. What a two nights of racing, Troy Henning. That was good stuff. We'll let you close out another year.